So behind me, I have this 2025 Kenworth TA80 with a Cummins X15 engine, and I'm gonna show you how OTR Diagnostics gonna give you the capabilities to read your fault codes, view all the different live data parameters on this truck, and then also give you capabilities to do advanced commands. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is you have the OTR Diagnostic adapter, you wanna plug it into the nine pin diagnostic port. You wanna turn the key on, you wanna make sure you have OTR Diagnostics downloaded on your phone. You wanna log in and get connected. Now I'm just gonna open up the OTR Diagnostics application. So once you open up the app, you'll see a select adapter prompt. You're just gonna select the adapter that you're, you're gonna to wanna to connect to. In this case, I have uh, the serial number is 168. And once you're connected, um, you may see a pairing prompt that, um, that comes up if the adapter wasn't previously paired to your phone. You just hit pair. You may have to hit pair twice if you're using an Android. Uh, but once it's paired up, you'll kind of go to the dashboard. What you see on the dashboard, specifically because we're connected to a 2025 truck, you don't really see too many active codes, just depending unless there's an active issue with the truck. But here we have fault codes, live data, and then we'll also have commands. And so when you're on the fault code screen, you'll see on this specific truck, it does have some uh, transmission fault codes, but we do cover all the fault codes that are on the truck, whether it's engine, um, transmission, cab, uh, your chassis, your brakes, like practically the whole truck is covered under the OTR Diagnostics application. So here it looks like there's just three inactive fault codes. And if you click on the fault code, it gives you more information in regards to the troubleshooting information. Now, if you go to commands, we'll have different commands here, such as resetting fault codes. Here we have a couple different things where we reset the Cummins codes at the OEM level. So this tool is as if you're using the Cummins Insight is what the dealers would use if they were to diagnose the truck. So we do the exact same resets as if you were to take your truck into the dealer. We're here reset after treatment. We have two different things in regards to that where it'll give you um, this reset if you're replacing your DPF filter or if you're having specific after treatment problems is where you'll use this uh, these resets. And then we also have here um, force DPF regen. So if you have force DPF regen here and the SCR performance test, which is gonna also give you that capabilities to ensure that the system is working on the SCR performance side, which would put the truck into a test to check out the entire um, SCR system. Now, if we're gonna go ahead and do a force DPF regen, we're obviously gonna need the truck started. And so I'm just gonna just show you that the truck, the you know, the application can necessarily do it. So what you wanna do is obviously be in a good spot to do a force DPF regen. You're gonna click force DPF regen. You're gonna hit continue, hit continue. And then here, we're gonna go through a, a attempting to start regen. And what you'll hear behind me is the RPM rising and you'll hear that the RPM did rise more than um, 800 RPM. And you can hear behind me that it did start the regen. Obviously we start a timer. So when the regen starts, the ECM now stops the regen once it's complete. So this particular truck, obviously the, the coolant temperature is hot enough for it to start a regen. And what we wanna do is just let the truck do a regen. But if you wanna stop a regen, let's say once you start it, you wanna stop it on this come as you just hit stop regen and you hear the RVM behind me just kick down um, and it'll just stop the regen. So obviously you don't wanna stop the regen prematurely unless you're like, hey, I can't do a regen during this time period. Um, you're obviously gonna to wanna to make sure that the truck um, you know, goes through that entire process once you start it. So if it can't stop, you know, if it can't complete the regen, let's say regen is lasting longer than 90 minutes, then you know you have a problem and you definitely wanna check that out before you necessarily let the truck continue uh, doing the regen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just turn the truck off. Um, but as you see, there's specific things in here when it comes to the engine speed, you got the, the live data on your dashboard, uh, gonna give you some information in here. And obviously, as you just saw, if you're paying attention to the, the app, you'll see some numbers change um, depending on what live, live data parameters we give you. But for instance, on this truck, there's the accelerated pedal position, ambient air temperature, barometric pressure, battery voltage, DF tank level, DF, DF tank temperature, DPF intake temp, DPF soot load, uh, DF uh, fluid concentration, your DPF intake pressure, um, your uh, diesel particular outlet pressure, um, the DPF outlet temperature, the engine uh, percent torque, EGR mass flow rate, EGR valve position, engine coolant level, engine coolant temp, 
engine crankcase pressure. So there's a lot of parameters here that we cover. We still have more parameters in here, the intake manifold pressure, which is also your boost. Um, so we just give you as many, uh, cap many live data parameters that we can give you, we're giving you access to. And obviously this is all in real time. So as these numbers change, it's exactly what's going on and being reported by the computers. And we're displaying that in the app. Now, as you can see that there's no, nothing connected to this. This is all happening through Bluetooth. So we are optimizing our Bluetooth connectivity to the truck. So that way you can do diagnosing of the truck around the truck. So like you could start a regen if you're around the truck and just paying attention to things, paying attention to temperatures, paying attention to making sure that everything is working as intended. Now you just watched a full coverage overview of this 2025 Kenworth TA80 with a Cummins X15 engine. If you'd like to learn more about it, you can visit otrperformance.com for more information. Thanks for watching.